Hey, what's up guys? Too Tall Toby here, and today I'm gonna take on this impossible challenge that I saw on Reddit, where we're trying to take a sheet metal part uh, that looks like this from the front, that looks like this from the top, and that can be flattened. So let's get into it here and see what we come up with. Ow! So I'll start out here by making this full screen, and if you'd like to play along with from home, you can take a screen capture of this, uh, maybe pause the video, and you can ask yourself, how would I build this part? Right, A little bit of a challenge on this part. Uh, it's kind of angled back here going uh, into the uh, back of the screen. It's also angled down if we're looking at this front view. And it's got a little bit of a weird uh, profile over here. The profile's kind of kinked a little bit in this direction. Um, 89, a uh, three degree angle here, and then 88 on this side. So a little bit of a weird part, but I think it's something that we can get through uh, if, we, if we just work on it together. So let's get into it here. I'm just gonna split this down to the bottom and work on this in SolidWorks by making a new part. I'll make this in plain carbon steel, and I'll start out by going to my front plane and creating a sketch for this angle that's, that's going down here on this front view. So S key, jump into the line command, and I'm gonna create a line here that is 543 millimeters across, and a line that comes down 205.5, and then a line that connects those two, and I'll make these first two lines for construction. And that is going to be my first sketch. Now, I'm going to go onto the top plane, begin a sketch, orient my view, S key line, create a line that comes across here, uh, 543, and a line that goes up here at 75 millimeters, and then connect those two. And I'll make these guys for construction as well. And really, this dimension uh, doesn't need to be here. It could either be driven or it could be deleted, and we can create a relationship here back to the first sketch so that this 543 in the first sketch is driving both of those sketches. Okay, now we'll exit that sketch. That's my second sketch. And now what we're going to do is go into the command features, curves, projected curve. And we're gonna take this sketch from the front plane and this sketch from the top plane and project them together. So we are essentially creating a compound angle here. It's not parallel to the front plane. It's not parallel to the top plane. It's a compound angle curve. Uh, even though I know it's a line, it's still considered a projected curve. All right, so now we're ready to create the profile for our sweep. So we go to the right plane here, begin a sketch, uh, create our geometry, which is gonna start here. I'll just start it at the origin. It's gonna come down, uh, now we're, we're going off that section view, so it's gonna come down 89. It's gonna come down at a, a slight angle that'll eventually be three degrees, and then it's gonna come up 88 degrees. And now we can create our dimension here for the angle. So that's gonna be 87. And then the distance between these two lines is going to be 89.2. Now, the one thing that I'm gonna do here that you might think is a little unusual is I'm gonna close off this sketch as a solid and then turn that into a sweep. And you'll see why that is in just a moment. So now we're ready to exit that sketch and we're ready to go to the solid sweep command and we're gonna sweep this profile along this path. And that basically gives us the geometry in the print, right? It's coming down at an angle uh, from the uh, front view. And from the top view, it's also kind of going back at an angle. And the ends are flat. So I think at this point, we're ready to turn this into sheet metal. And we're going to do that using the sheet metal command, convert to sheet metal. And so what this command lets us do is it lets us pick a face that is going to be our base face for the sheet metal. It's our first face in the sheet metal. And you'll notice here that I can apply a thickness to that face. So if I make that thickness 10, the preview updates and that face that I selected gets a little thicker. And if I change that back to five with an inside bend radius of five, uh, what we will see is that when we start applying bends, they will also have five millimeter thickness with a five millimeter bend radius. So how do we apply those bends? We go down here to where it says bend edges and we just pick an edge of our solid. So if I pick this edge here, we can see the preview update. It's a little hard to see because uh, the preview is right on top of the solid, but now we're bending up around that corner and we can do the same thing over here. This is a great tool when you've got weird, you know, kinked uh, sheet metal designs. This really makes it easy. And so I'm just going to ignore the top face. I'm not going to put any bends there and I'm going to hit the green check mark. And there we go. There's our sheet metal design. So if we look at this from the front, it's angled going down. If we look at it from the top, we can see it's angled going back. And this is sheet metal, which means that it can be flattened 
and formed. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to check out this video where I talk a lot about the basics of sheet metal, including a section dealing with this idea of convert to sheet metal. And of course, be sure to like and subscribe, uh, maybe add a comment and maybe share this with somebody else who uh, needs to learn a little bit about sheet metal and specifically some tips and tricks in the wonderful world of SolidWorks. And I'll see you guys in the next one.